Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Norwegian 737 Project. That's my buddy on um, painting the shell, doing what he's best at. And nothing at all. We're just hanging around. We've been uh, working with the sim quite a few days and I haven't bothered making any any updates uh, quite yet. I don't know why, but I guess I'm kind of lazy. But here you can see how the t side walls turn out. Everything's been raised four inches, as you saw in the last video. And now the first layer of paint's going on. Second layer is coming tomorrow. These these uh, walls will be painted um, with a dark gray. I think we'll see what fits fits best. And. That's about it. Shop is getting messier again. And here's the main instrument panel. This is what we've been working with for the last couple of days. So this is the first uh, first um, first layer of um, epoxy that have been put on the underglare covers and they are coming out very good I guess the light is screwing up a little bit so you can't see 100% but very satisfied um, yeah, in the last video, nothing of this was uh, was was connected to the main instrument panel. Um, so that's uh, has been a tough one too, because everything has been raised, so they left a little, very little room to fixate the uh, the uh, MCP or the glare panel to the uh, to the main instrument panel at all. So I had to reconstruct you know, those those uh, side side supports and they've been made in steel right now and man was these a pain in the ass to construct with all the angles let's look at this I can there's one of the steel supports right there running up the side over there and it comes down to follow the underglare uh, shape and this is going to meet the front window sill. So, well, it's hard to explain, but you get the get the idea. So that's that's what we got so far. Sorry for not not talking more, but that's the way it is. I just wanted to show you guys this. Uh, little video while we're still working on it so we don't have to jump to the end product um i'll talk to you in the next video